Hello, Moxie. Moxie, please wake up. Hello there. It's good to have you back. Why, thank you. And we kept going. Does this $800 robot deliver what it promises? Let's find out today. The ad is adorable. An actress posing as a child's mother indicates that there is someone who wants to meet you. The child looks to be at least six years old and is extremely articulate and appears to read at an advanced level. At first glance, the child appears to have no psychopathology, meaning no oppositional, attentional, cognitive, or even speech difficulties. The robot then begins falsely indicating to the youth that breathing exercises help me relax. During the advertisement, the child speaks to the robot indicating that they had a difficult day and the robot encouraged the child to squeeze the robot's hand. Before diving into whether or not this currently $800 unit is a good investment in your son's academic and mental health future, let's literally break apart what artificial intelligence truly is. With the emerging programs such as ChatGPT and almost every major software developer creating their own spin on what they believe AI should represent, AI is most basically a set of technologies that enables computers to perform a variety of functions such as seeing and understanding written and spoken language that analyzes data and can make recommendations. With so many of these devices already existing on our cell phones and electronic personal devices, an AI robot that is meant to be a substitute for the human experience was only a matter of time. When you go to the website, the Moxie Robot Company Embodied Incorporated offers the option of either renting or buying the unit, marketing the device as a machine for interactive learning, emotional support, social skill development, and kid-friendly AI. The company also offers a similar Moxie Pro unit for double the price promising school counseling and therapy supplementation, one-on-one -on -one classroom support, and an after-school programming tool. The Moxie robot describes itself as being an embodied agent that has presence, that shares physical space with the child, that the child engages with the robot in a way that they can engage with a virtual character. And due to these premises, that there exists a major advantage associated with learning skills in the realms of social and emotional development. The company claims the robot will assist with language acquisition, turn-taking, joint attention, curiosity, and perseverance for children five years to 10 years of age. Despite providing statistics associated with some to significant improvement in the domains of social skills to general behavior, the only facts about this research I would like to point out are that they were online assessments completed by parents that were reviewed and analyzed by our on-staff doctor of occupational therapy, involving 51 families with children between the ages of 5 to 10 years of age. Despite the company failing to identify the staff member that conducted the assessments on this page, it is speculated that Nikki Hurst, OTD, OTRL, who is the project manager, is quoted towards giving other assessment statistics associated with the MOXIE project. A more ambiguous study occurred in 2022, where 17 hospitals participated in a pediatric study that indicated 100% of parents would recommend MOXIE to a friend, despite on their very own website, currently consisting of 60% five-star reviews. Reviews and research aside, let's dive into my initial impressions of the unit, along with my belief associated with how an average consumer might attempt to operate this little unit. Unboxing the device is easy, requiring minimal effort, and included removing the device from what I consider to be a nice protective foam coffin. The build of the unit seems to be that of quality, having an average power brick, fluid mechanical controls, a two megapixel front facing camera, and four microphones. Pairing the unit with the app takes some time and it is highly recommended that you take your time programming this AI bot for the best results.
Hi, my name is Dr. Nikki Hurst and I'm an occupational therapist and product manager at Embody. In this video, I'm going to showcase one of Moxie's amazing activities called affirmations. Affirmations are short, positive sayings that your child can repeat together with Moxie. Moxie has a variety of different affirmations. Controversy surrounding utilizing the app requires the parent's name and identifying information, such as the last four digits of the parent's social security number, for verification purposes. After finally pairing the application to the robot itself, the robot goes through a series of reboots. I remember after waiting a full hour after the second or third reboot, I literally had to switch the unit off and then on again to get the MOX unit to cycle through its programming correctly. During the initial setup, the robot asks for more information such as, where am I? And begins a scripted dialogue that appears to be buying Moxie some more time during the straight up process. After several hours pass, the robot slowly becomes more responsive and less scripted. The robot will also prompt you to have it three feet away from pretty much everything, which greatly reduces the usefulness and practicality of ensuring this robot is in a safe place and is easily accessible to your child. After having the unit for several days and trying it with my five and seven year old son, the results are as follows. My seven year old child who loves electronics is just simply afraid of the unit and indicates that they have no interest in communicating with it and begins to panic when we attempt to prompt our son to speak with the unit. Our second five-year-old son was initially extremely excited about utilizing the unit, but became quickly discouraged when the device would ignore or not understand him, and he became consistently embarrassed each time he failed to properly utilize the robot. Currently, my wife and I are attempting to model the behavior of interacting with the robot when we have free time. But then we ourselves become discouraged when more of the same interactions play out between our five-year-old son who has a speech impediment. Marketing for this unit appears to suggest success with special populations, such as individuals with autism spectrum disorder. Despite the premise being sound considering the poor social skills and social ostracism that often occurs with the disorder, I have found that the unit fails to develop a connection with my eldest son, who has been diagnosed with ASD, and my other son that also has an ADHD diagnosis. Despite claiming to assist with verbal skills, yet again the unit falls short, unable to decipher individuals who have speech delays, and accurately identifying their mentor client from even plants in my house. The unit also appears sometimes to be unstable and will indicate that I feel wobbly, and it is recommended that you place this unit on dense carpeting in the middle of your floor. That is not to say that it's all doom and gloom when it comes to this MOXIE unit not having a purpose. On the contrary, hospital settings where children are unable to leave their room, convalescent homes where patients scarcely sometimes receive visitors, and even psychotherapists under insurance managed care who can't efficiently conduct mindfulness, emotional identification, and social skills training would likely greatly benefit through a device such as this one if you can get it to work properly. I also like the engaging stories and mentor activities, such as dance parties that the MOXIE unit engages children with. Since I believe no parent will leave this unit in the middle of the floor or a room due to the enormous price tag, I worked with the unit providing two feet of space behind the unit on a shelf at my five-year-old's height, which went against the three-foot recommendation of the unit itself. In a nutshell, if you have an average or highly intelligent five to 10 year old, that's the only child of the household, this unit might be the very thing that you're looking for. If your child has speech delays or other types of psychopathology, this unit fails at tackling immediate gratification, impulse control deficits, and overall vital first impressions of children engaging this unit and likely will not last very long in your home. Furthermore, the liability concerns associated with children expressing their problems through a robot raise ethical and moral considerations that the features of th this device do not currently adequately compensate for, such as self-harm and nonverbal cues providers are constantly monitoring. Well, hopefully this video was insightful for you and just proves that we need a few more decades for this technology to advance. See you next time.